Hey guys, since more and more of you are migrating to Windows, I figured I'd show you Poplayer. I was talking on Slack to Zikar and he was having some trouble because he said Poplayer was lagging for him and opening slower than VLC. This is what I have right now with Poplayer. When I click on a movie, it opens up really quick. And there's frame by frame control if you need it. It's DNF. And you know, you have your playlist here. And you have settings, you can, there's an equalizer, video settings, subtitles, all kind of useful stuff. And the skin is pretty much, you know, non-existent, so it only appears when you roll over it. And it's just it's really fast, like, you know, it closes and opens. And there's a setting where you can make it open new windows. So you have window here, window there. And, you know, you can change it to open all the videos in one video, however you want. Uh, but he was having trouble with the latest installer, so now I'm going to uninstall my pop player and install his and then show you what the important things are. Okay, I'm back. So I uninstalled pop player. I installed a new version from the website just in case and realized that yes, it is significantly slower and crashier than the version I'll give you a link to. Um, it's still okay once you change some of the settings because this one is kind of slow at the beginning too So let's get in it, but I'll give you a link just in case to the old version which I prefer so when you open it It as you can see it's much slower now It says please waiting and then it loads and then it also play and then it plays a different file So the settings that let's pause this So the first things we want to do is we want to go to settings video No, let's Never. How do we? No, it's not auto update. So, first thing is video, video render, and we want Direct3D or OpenGL depending on your video card, I guess. So, we click this and we close this, and now when we open it, it loads video very quickly. Okay, I guess the next thing we're going to do is we're going to disable auto update. So, let's go preferences. And configuration, nope, general. There you go, auto check for updates, never apply. And close. Okay, so that's the first problem solved. So now it opens pretty quickly. But as you notice, it goes through the different. It clearly didn't do that, so let's go preferences, never. Okay, close. Nice, no auto update. Okay, next we want to go here to skin and press auto hide skin during playback. So now when it opens, it opens just an empty window and it's just a video without any borders. Um, as you can see right now, it's doing this weird thing because what it's actually doing now is when you open it, pause it, if you go to playlist here, it opens similar videos in your folder together, which is, well, to me, it's annoying. So let's go preferences. Where are they? References. And turn this. Open similar files. Open selected files only. Now here you can also open here. You can go disable play files in existing pop player instance or enable allow more than one pop player instance. Or you can add new files to playlist. I personally prefer enable. I like being able to open more than one window more than one video. So I have one video here and then I open another one that's here and you know. But right now you'll see they are still opening all the playlists. So I guess it has a problem with saving preferences. So let's go preferences, open similar files together, open selected files together, and close. And now we open it. Awesome, only one file. So there you go, now we open another file and all good. Now right now the only problem is they stop playing. I like my video files to keep playing in a loop. In a loop. So preferences, and let's go playback and repeat video plug repeat playlist I guess if you have a playlist you want to play it all and press OK and now when we open our file plays the end and it plays again and again and again so that's pretty much the setup of the player there's lots of preferences like seriously this is the player with the most different stuff you can change. Um, so let's say if you want to go one frame forward and back, it's DNF. You can find it in, where is it, playback, um, 
I don't know. I found it somewhere in shortcuts. But yeah, lots of stuff. Now the next thing is skins. If you don't like this skin, I personally think it's okay. But here I got Eclipse here. Continue. You just drag onto the player. Press yes. And there you go. This one's kind of nice. It's kind of dark, minimal. So yeah, and it has the config, I think. It turns on subtitles, lots of stuff. Control box, there it is. And it has equalizer and your video settings and all that stuff. And there's also the Midnight Pop Player, which is pretty nice, I think. I'll put the links in the description. This is, you know, it's nice and minimal. And eDark is the last one that I used to use. But honestly, nowadays I just use the default one. It's, you know, this is nice too. But the control box doesn't really work. They didn't skin it, so it's just a playlist and this thing. But also very nice, you know, minimal. Once again, you go skins. I just pick the default skin. There you go. It's the one that I use. So there you go. I think that pretty much covers what we got. Um, yeah, so enjoy using Poplar. If you have any questions, just ask. Happy to help.